Hi guys, Adster here. Um, in this video, I'm going to give out a few pointers and a few tips on how to use the Draw Inflation tool. And look at um, this is a typical card on a weekend. You've got all of the games. You've got um, Draw Inflation percentage. You've got Betfair spreads and pinnacle prices that update when there is a change. You've got the history of the Draw Inflation. And on Swansea Sunderland, you can see here that um, Betfair is actually lower than the spreads and Pinnacle. We've got a draw inflation just under 17%, so it's it's on the cusp, on the threshold of uh, whether we'd actually trade this or not. The liquidity is pretty good. We can see that at £127,000. It's a premier game. Let's see what the bookies have here. So most of them have it at 4s here. Betfair have got it at 4.1. There should be more of a difference than that. That suggests to me with the other evidence that uh, the price is going to drift. Just open it on the uh, PMT page, prematchtrading.com. See here, the previous price was uh, 4.2, so it has actually come in a tick. It's £309 at uh, 4.2, and normally it would suggest um, laying at the back price, so you're actually asking for a price. But you can see here, most of the money is at 4.1, 4.2, but with only £309 there, I'm a little bit worried about missing this, and it's going to drift before I get on. So, what I'm going to do is actually Lay it at that price, lay it at 4.2, knowing that all of my amount is going to be matched and it's going to push it out a tick. Immediately, I will put it back in at 4.3. Why wait around? The longer you're in, the uh, further behind you're going to be in the queue. So it's always a tip, always a pointer to get in as soon as possible. As soon as you've been matched on one side, submit your uh, back or lay one two ticks lower on the other side. This is a common mistake that uh, traders make. So we can see here there's no changes to the uh, bookie price. We're in a good position here to have a little bit of free money before kickoff. And we'll get anything over 30, 40 games like this uh, on a weekend. So plenty of uh, trading to be done, plenty of opportunities and because it's in the match odds we get matched a lot quicker. So there we go, a little bit of free money. Moving on to our next game, we've got Schalke uh, Chelsea in the Champions League. You can see where the money's been traded, you can see the lowest point mainly from 3.45 upwards, tiny little bit of uh, matched at 3.4 we brought the game up here. You can see that um, draw inflation is high. It's highlighted to suggest that. And again, you can see that um, Betfair is um, lower than the other two. Um, high draw inflation. Uh, again, we'll check uh, the bookies. This is something I will do on, on every draw inflation game. It's good to see what the bookies are, are showing for this. Most of them have got it at 3.4 so again similar to the last game uh, this price uh, should drift. But let's try and get on at 3.4. Let's ask for a price on this. Now, you don't always get matched as you'll see. What a lot of people do is they use 50% um, at the back price and 50% of the lay price, thus guaranteeing that if that price moves, they're on it. So that's quite a good uh, little sort of strategy, a little bit of uh, advice to take, something to use. Now, all the while that draw inflation is um, hovering over um, 15%, 15-16%, we're safe in knowing that we can trade this, we can lay the draw, we can recycle, we can go back in 
out, in, out several times and that's where the profits are made. So you can see there we had to adjust Now whether you lay the draw or back the dog is dependent really on um, previous prices matched. Uh, as, you can, as you can see here, you're going to have a little bit of backing on Schalke because I think they're high based on the bookie prices here. Uh, wasn't taken. Price came in, didn't get matched. But other factors are uh, pinnacle. Often what pinnacle do, they move and Betfair follow. So I'm going to cancel the Schalke. Um, previous matches um, taken, matched. Uh, check the graphs. Uh, bookie prices. Uh, and all of these are a factor on whether you lay the draw, uh, back the dog, or even do both. Often what we also find is that unders will come in. Under 2.5 will come in on a high draw inflation. Pinnacle, as you can see, have just raised it, the draw. So that's another good sign that the draw will actually uh, drift here. Say often Pinnacle will make an adjustment, Betfair will follow. So we're sitting in the queue just waiting. Again, it looks like the money's going to go. We're not going to get taken. So we're going to have to get on the back end of 3.5 as it's uh, taken. Immediately um, get on one tick higher. And this is something uh, our members do regularly. You know, they're, they're advised in the uh, PMT chat room. Uh, lots of tips and advice given out there. Uh, and also in the tradingfootball.eu chat room. There are tips given out, daily advice, uh, trade of the day. Um, the DI tool comes free with either service or on its own at drawinflation.com, which some people choose to do. So there we go, the DI has corrected itself, it's dropped to 15%, uh, which is where it should be. So our last game, Crystal Palace Arsenal, the Saturday lunchtime game. Draw inflation was actually high the night before. It was uh, it was 17, 17 and a half percent. The draw was at uh, 5.4 at the time. I went to bed and left it. Typical, always the way. You can see there where it's uh, where it's drifted. Arsenal had been coming in. Palace not really given a prayer here. Uh, and, and several ticks can happen. There was a game uh, last night, uh, Man United Norwich, where um, it was actually a low draw inflation, so it was a case of backing uh, the draw, uh, which came in from 6s to 5.3 just before kickoff. So just have a look at the draw here. So again, I'm going to try and lay it at the back price, which more often than not does actually work. It doesn't look like it in this video, but uh, it does actually work. But um, this video is always also good in showing you that things don't always go as, as planned, even for the pros. Um, there we go, we can see it drift. Uh, at this point, sitting here and uh, kicking the cat, swearing at uh, Mrs. Adster. Um, all sorts going on, so pretty buggered off with that, always the way. Not that I really thought a draw was an option here, but it's nice to have a bit of free money. Okay, you can see that Betfair are now higher than Pinnacle and the spreads, as it should be. Draw inflation has come down. So that sort of part, that trade is now over. There's nothing more to do there. Um, but the nil two here, you can see that uh, that's actually high. And if Arsenal were coming in in the match odds, um, then a price of nil two is also going to come in. You know, prices to Arsenal are going to come in. So I think we're going to 
lump on this. This time I wasn't going to miss out, determined to get a bit of free money before watching the game. I tried for 8.4, dropped it to 8.2. And as you see, PMT suggesting it should be uh, should be at 8. And uh, indeed it was spot on yet again. Uh, allowing a little £300 on nil 2 uh, which I used with, uh, there we go, it actually came in further, um, came in another couple of ticks, uh, but I'd moved on at this point, decided to just have a little, take a little bit of money in play, have a little bit of a back on one two one three to give the game a bit, a bit more interest, a bit more spice. That's a little bit of cover in case Palace scored. And um, the draw inflation tool works extremely well, actually. It is very good. Uh, more and more people are using it. Because it's in the match odds, we get uh, taken quicker. We get our bets matched quicker. Um, so, you know, I would advise anyone to start using it. Small stakes to start with. Watch how the markets move. Get to learn how to do it. Um, actually ended up with £90 profit on that game. I'm just going to show you a few screenshots here. That's my Bet Angel setup. And these are various screenshots that uh, members have uh, kindly sent in and posted. So if you fancy giving uh, either tradingfootball.eu a go, prematchtrading.com, or you just fancy trying drawinflation.com um, on its own, why not give it a go? It's a whole new world of uh, prematch trading. And just a couple more. And uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop us a line and. Uh, I'll see you again on the next video.